Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. If you've ever wanted to run Windows on your Android phone, you're going to love this. The Xodus emulator just got a huge update, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly what it is, what's new in version 5.4.0, and how to set it up from start to finish with just one app. So, let's jump right in. First off, what exactly is Xodos? Xodos is a powerful PC emulator for Android that brings a full Windows-like experience to your mobile device. It uses advanced tools like Wine and Prout to emulate desktop environments. That means you can use apps, games, and even a browser, just like a real Windows PC. It supports both Snapdragon and non-Snapdragon processors, which makes it super versatile. Now let's talk about what's new in the latest update, version 5.4.0. This update focuses heavily on performance, compatibility, and stability. They've improved Bionic Audio and fixed a bunch of script issues. There's also better support for installing DXVK for both Glibic and Bionic, a cleaner start menu that includes all DXVK tools, and even experimental support for DirectX 12 on 64-bit systems. The Wine Glib C version is now updated to 9.9, .9, which means more compatibility with newer games and apps. You'll also see better graphics rendering thanks to improved VirGL and GPU detection. All right, now let's walk through the setup. The best part? You only need one app. Just download and open XODoos. The first time you open it, accept the notification and give storage access when asked. This allows it to install some system files. Once that's done, the app might close by itself. That's normal, don't worry. Just hold down the app icon, go to App Info, and enable display over other apps. This unlocks a floating menu feature that'll come in handy later. Now open the app again. You can open the keyboard anytime by pressing your volume button. Go into preferences and tap on video settings. Set the resolution mode to native to exact and change the screen resolution to 1280 by 720 for a great balance of performance and clarity. Next, enable the float ball menu. This gives you quick access to important functions like turning on Termux, enabling the keyboard, customizing input controls, opening the task manager, and more. Scroll down and enable the Hide Display Cutout option to remove any notch or camera punch out from your view. After this, everything else can stay as it is. Just click back to return. Once you're on the main screen again, tap Start. You'll now see a Windows-style desktop. Open Quick Settings. A pop-up will show saying Modern Android Detected. Just click OK to continue. Now, we'll go through the setup wizard. First, choose your CPU type. If you're using a Snapdragon device, select Snapdragon. If not, choose Other. For other processors' users, pick Wine Type as Glibk, DirectX wrapper as Wind 3D9, driver as Virgil Mesa 19, and allocate eight CPU cores. Done. For Snapdragon users, also choose Wine type Glibs, but select DXVK 2.3.1 as your DirectX wrapper, and Turnip V25.0.0 R4 as the driver. Again, set eight CPU cores. Done. Once that's done, go back to the home screen and tap Start again. Now, click on the first Exodus icon. Here's an important step. If your phone has a strong Snapdragon processor, choose the first CPU stable button. If you're on a more basic or non-Snapdragon phone, choose the second option. And that's it. Your Exodus is now fully set up and working. At this point, there's no need to tweak any more settings. You can even personalize your emulator by changing the desktop wallpaper, just like on a real PC. And yes, there's even a built-in browser so you can open websites. Let me show you my YouTube channel running right here inside the emulator, just like that. Your phone is now running a full Windows environment. And that's a wrap. Xodos Emulator is an incredible tool, and this new update makes it even better. If this video helped you out, be sure to leave a like, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more emulator guides and mobile tech tutorials. And hey, if you want me to test a specific game on Exodus in the next video, drop the name in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.